think if you are an artist and you are like a struggling artist or whatever, don't give up on your dream, but find other things that can help you. It doesn't have to be a job. Um, but it could be a job. Like for me, it's just, I've always been an entrepreneur, but just find something else that you're able to make money with so that you don't feel so desperate to make money with your dream and your passion. Um, and always have multiple streams of income. Like we also have Airbnbs in Brazil. My husband manages that project. We're investing a lot of into that right now, but we expect a huge return in the future. So there's just a lot of moving parts. Make sure that you have money coming in like this, because if this isn't working, then you have money coming over here, you have it over here. If three of those aren't working, at least you still have other avenues of income. So I think that is the biggest goal have multiple streams of income and figure out how to make money while you're sleeping. Like Empower Nation, welcome to Empower Her Money Podcast. I am your host, Angela Duncan, speaker, best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, and we talk all things money and business. Today's episode is sponsored by freemoneytipsbook.com, freemoneytipsbook.com. Head over there, download your free ebook, these seven steps you don't want to miss when starting your financial journey. On today's episode, I get to interview Becca Brazil. She is an incredible artist, reality TV star. She has a PR company and she's investing in real estate in Brazil. Want to know how she does it all and her ninja tips for you to get started on your Mecca empire as well. Check out this episode. Hi, Becca. Welcome to Empower Her Money podcast. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. You're amazing. And being here with other powerful women is just so incredible. So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. We were chatting a little bit offline. You live in my hometown. So I, I, I do miss San Diego from time to time, but if I'm going to leave one coast, Miami is definitely the other place to go. Yes, absolutely. And I just think Miami and San Diego in general, they're just great places to live on the beach. And you never know, like so many contacts and so many incredible people living their dreams in these locations. So I love that. Yeah. So why don't we start off with your story? How did you get to be in the industry that you're in now? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a crazy story. I've been involved in, uh, I guess like the media and TV since I was 21 years old. Um, I went on a Bravo TV show and, just going on the show and talking to the producers and getting all glammed up and meeting people and, and realizing that TV is just such a great avenue to share a story, right? It's such a great place. If you want to spread the word, there's only a few outlets to do so. And I feel like that's like TV or radio or um, social media. So it was just something that really opened my eyes, especially back then, you know, when I was 21, social media isn't as big as it was now videos weren't going viral like they are now. So I think it just kind of opened my eyes to, to that world. And then I ended up doing a competition called Miss Jet Set Magazine, where I won a big lump sum of money. It was 50,000 cash, 50,000 prizes, which summed to a hundred thousand dollars. And I used that to open my first business. So I was in my early twenties. And I was just, I had a storefront and I was just working for myself, trying to figure everything out and, um, doing my own content, taking pictures for my website. I learned everything on my own. And so I think that just kind of led me to where I am now because I had to get these influencers. I had to get people excited about my brand, wearing my brand, sharing it. And I'm like, I'm the most excited one, right? This is my product. So if I could do that for myself, for my own things, as well as other people's things, as well as other things that I'm interested in there, it's just a win-win. There's no reason not to try. So yeah, I love your energy. And I just want to back up and say, congratulations, because a lot of people who would win like a hundred grand in prizes and money would go buy a car or take vacations, but you started a business. So talk yeah. about where did that come from? Is that like from your parents or how did you think about like, I'm going to put the money to use instead of just blowing it on some fun things? 
I think, I guess it is for my parents. So my mom, um, she's Brazilian. She, she came to the U S as, uh, with, you know, met my dad, I guess he's American and she had two young kids and they got divorced. My mom started her own business. My dad's also always been doing his own thing and trying and hustling, you know, his dreams. So I think just watching them, I literally lived in my mom's schools when I was younger, me and my brother, we'd be running around and she was a single mom working, trying so hard, you know, to get her dreams to come to reality, to help us. And I think just watching that, not somebody pressuring you into becoming an entrepreneur or whatever, but just seeing it every single day. Um, it just gets into your brain. It's like, there's just no other way. Uh, I've never, ever been somebody who could just sit in an office and work for somebody else. I'm always, even if I was in the office, I'd be like looking at my own thing, trying, you know, to figure out what I wanted to do. So I do think that ultimately that led me there. And I didn't really know what I was doing. So also just trying and failing and trying and succeeding and trying and failing. I mean, every single successful person will say that they've failed so many times. So mm -hmm. you just can't be scared. You have to try and then eventually something will work. But if you give up, that's the problem. A lot of people give up. So it'll never work if you give up. But if you don't, anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's first dive into one side of what you do is the PR company. How did you decide that you were going to start a PR company and kind of what do you do with that today? Yeah. So the PR company actually was a huge dream of mine. Um, and I never thought I'd be able to do it. I, I see these PR executives and they're doing such huge things. And, um, and I just was like, Oh, one day. And then that one day ended up coming. I talked to somebody who did own a PR company and I asked him, I was like, Oh, do you have a big office? He's like, no, everything's virtual. Um, I, you know, I have virtual assistants. I work with people all over the world. And I'm like, what, <laughs> wait a minute. And so as soon as I heard that I went home and I just like went crazy, I started researching everything. And that was the day that I started my business. Um, I just know how important PR is. Like I said, I was on that TV show, um, and all these connections that I meet, I don't want to only use them for myself. I, I'm not going to be here one day. Like I'm already on this route. I meet so many people that can help others, but sometimes they can't help me. So that's why I said, I want to have this PR agency because I'm going to continue to meet people right, right through my music, through all of these avenues, through TV, through connections and those incredible people. I want to be able to connect with my community. So there's no other better way than having a PR agency. And so that's what I did. And it's been over two years now. I've gotten people into Maxim. I've gotten people into huge outlets. I just had um, my, my client on NBC News. We did NBC radio the other day. So, you know, it's just been a really fun ride. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. I think people underestimate it sometimes how important PR is. Like if you have a service, a product, anything, PR is so important getting in, in front of like the right audience too. So that needs to be strategic and, and hiring someone who's an expert and has those connections is so key. So you just touched on your music a little bit. Talk more about that. I'm so excited for what you've got going on. Thank you so much. Yeah. So the music is just another avenue. So right now I have uh, an album that just released with Turn Me Up Tone. And then we also have a feature from Brandon Gomes, who was on Siesta Key, a huge TV show, one of my favorite reality shows. Uh, so he's on my album as well, which I'm really excited about. I have all these radio stations looking at my stories right now. So I'm like freaking out my favorite radio station. So I'm just like, I, I need to get on there. I'm manifesting this right now. Um, and then I'm also part of a TV show called Billboards Inc., which is pretty much goes hand in hand with my PR, right? So we get people on billboards, different influencers, and um, I'm a main cast member, but it's also a business. Without the business, there wouldn't be a show. So we're hustling, we're selling billboards, we're bringing people community in. We have an event happening February 8th. Um, and I've been DJing those events with my own music. So everything goes hand in hand that I'm doing the PR, the TV show, the music. I'm able to just get myself out there in so many ways. And uh, music really touches people's hearts. So a lot of people say that they're terrible. I have a bad voice. And I'm like, if you want something bad enough, you it, it can happen because you're unique and um, people want to hear you. So <laughs> yeah. And I was listening to your music before we started today. And it's so upbeat and positive. And I, that's the kind of music I enjoy. You know, I want to be able to turn on something and just 
feel it and feel happy about it because I'm a positive person. You know, there's, there's so much different genres of music, but for me, yours is amazing because it is upbeat and it just feels good to listen to. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I think that's the goal is I really like the techno pop style because right now like festivals are so huge and that's what I want to do instead of just me showing up and kind of like singing on stage. I was like, I want to be back there in the DJ booth, bringing the vibes, you know, just getting music that I love together, whether it's my own and also mixes of other artists that I really love. Um, so I think it's also really cool because something that I've been doing that's different than other DJs is all DJ my own own music. And then I'll also sing like my parts. And then when I don't have parts that I'm singing, I'll DJ. So it's kind of like, it's a show, you know, it's just really cool. So I hope you get to come with me backstage one day and we're like at the festival having so much fun, hopefully Miami and yeah. San Diego, you never know. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. So talk a little bit about the money side running all these different businesses on different platforms. There's so many moving pieces kind of what have you learned, um, maybe to someone who might be wanting to get into either music or PR, what have you learned that you want to make sure that perhaps they don't make the same mistakes that you have? Yeah. So I think for me, it gave me more flexibility with music because I had a business. So I wasn't so focused on, I need to make money with music or else I'm going to fail. I was already making money through my connections, through helping people. So I was able to kind of explore and have fun and you know, I know that the money will come, like, especially festivals, people get paid. I mean, even not big artists, like up to $50,000 per festival. So, um, and then bigger artists over 50 K like probably ranging up to like the millions. It's a big, big industry, but I do think if you are an artist and you are like a struggling artist or whatever, don't give up on your dream, but find other things that can help you. It doesn't have to be a job. Um, but it could be a job. Like for me, it's just, I've always been an entrepreneur, but just find something else that you're able to make money with so that you don't feel so desperate to make money with your dream and your passion. Um, and always have multiple streams of income. Like we also have Airbnbs in Brazil. My husband manages that project. We're investing a lot of into that right now, but we expect a huge return in the future. So there's just a lot of moving parts. Make sure that you have money coming in like this, because if this isn't working, then you have money coming over here, you have it over here. If three of those aren't working, at least you still have other avenues of income. So I think that is the biggest goal have multiple streams of income and figure out how to make money while you're sleeping, like investments, invest in stocks, invest in, you know, different companies or whatever you can do, just do it so that you can make that money while you're sleeping. You don't have to, you know, every hour is what you're getting paid for. You're, you're getting paid all day. You're getting paid to sleep, run, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> See, that's, you know? that's great sound advice. Not just, I mean, obviously not for just the music industry, that's across the board for everybody. So I love that. It's right in line with what I teach too. So I, um, I assume that Brazil, why, well, let's not assume, why did you choose that market for real estate? So, um, so I go by Becca Brazil. That's not my last name. Um, that's like my stage name. My mom's Brazilian. My husband's Brazilian. We have property out there. Like we basically, um, this was his family. They have like acres and acres and acres of land. Like my husband grew up there and it was just land. And, you know, we started talking about, we're like, we would love to, you know, build something on this land and make it into an actual community. And so now when we look back, it's crazy. We built so much. We have 12, um, units right now that we're building. It's like a hotel. And then we have two suites that are separate over there. We have a pool for swimmers. So it's like, um, a semi-Olympic size pool. My husband's an athlete. So we want it to be like a resort type of space where we can go relax, work out, um, have retreats, you know, and all of that, whether it's for my business, for his business, for your business, like bring people out there. And Brazil is amazing. The vibes out there, people are happy. It's, it's just, I mean, I know that you, you hear about a lot of crime that happens out there and stuff like that, but what I've experienced has only been positive. It's beautiful out there. It's cheap. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's just, it's good energy. And actually, um, Lenny Kravitz has a farm. It looks exactly like ours in Brazil. And he goes and he hides out there and he stays at his farm. He calls it his fazenda. 
He's like, welcome to my fazenda. Like if you Google it, <laughs> it's so cute. And he's on a horse on his farm. That's exactly how our space looks. And so we want to give people the opportunity to get out there. And um, I want to give Brazil a good name. I want to perform out there. I want when people to think of Becca Brazil, that they think of, wow, Brazil and other locations. And, you know, it's just not only about the U S there's so much, you know, so many other places that are incredible around yeah. the world. <laughs> I, love, I love that too. Yeah. And I agree with you because when I think about Brazil, um, I think about high crime and I only speak English. So I wouldn't go there without anyone who doesn't at least speak, you know, Portuguese to get around in. Um, but yeah, I love that you're kind of changing that dynamic. And of course you're going to go perform there. I can definitely see it already. Um, so what's, what's next for you? I know you talked about the album. So what's the, what's the name of the album? Um, so it's called technotic. Um, and I did it with turn me up tone. It's really crazy because a lot of these things that I've been creating, I've manifested like a thousand million percent, pretty much everything that I've thought up in my head has happened. And, um, including this album, which I've been thinking about creating an album and I ended up connecting with, uh, turn me up tone on social media. This guy is the best producer that I could have ever imagined. He created my album with me. We did some of our albums on literally like on a speaker like this because we didn't have time to get into a studio. There was other um, songs that we did in studio with like millions of dollars worth of equipment, but it was just so cool because we sit there and we really come up with a lot of the concepts on the spot. Um, so that's something really cool. I just want to continue moving forward with all the things that I'm doing and continue making them one and not a separate umbrellas. Like PR goes hand in hand with TV. It goes hand in hand with music. All of my connections, the people who believed in me, I want them to rise so high because people like turn me up tone who's given his time and all of this that he's learned from when he was a kid and just really believed in me. I just can't can't wait to see all of them explode. Like that's really my goal. And I really, really need a good manager because I need help. Like I'm doing too much by myself right now. Um, and I haven't found any good really management that has genuinely like taken anything out of my hands. So I think that's the next goal is just really finding a good team for Becca Brazil. I already have a team for uh, my PR company, but you know, Becca Brazil is a brand at this point. So Let's, yeah. I just want to shoot up. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about manifestation. Who are you going to collaborate with in the future? Oh my gosh. So Paris Hilton, um, she's actually an incredible DJ, incredible. And her songs are iconic. So if you haven't heard them, definitely listen to them. I love Miley Cyrus. Uh, she's absolutely amazing. Um, a lot of people say that I sound like um, Kesha. Mm -hmm. So, um, I heard Kesha's not really doing a lot of music anymore, but maybe me and her can like do some type of collab so she can come back. Yeah, <laughs> we can do that. like a comeback. I know. So yeah, definitely those three for sure. And maybe some crossover. I don't know. There, there are some country stars like, uh, Kane Brown, who kind of does a lot of collaborations. I could see that too. Yes. And I want to bring in different artists into like the techno world because like even techno, you know, combined with country or like do different dynamics so that it's not just like, oh, this, this genre. And then this genre, like, no, we can do some really, really cool. And, and I, as I said, I consider myself an artist, not a singer. So I like to create art and create new things and new concepts. So yeah, I just, I can't wait to see what we come up with next. Yeah. And I, lo I love your energy. I love your vibe. You're just so positive. So I know whatever you're putting out there, you're going to accomplish it. And you've already accomplished so much at your age. So I'm so proud of you. I'm glad we've had this opportunity to, to meet. So if the audience wants to get in touch with you, whether it's through the PR company or listen more about your music, where do they find you? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, on Instagram, that's where I'm all at all the time. <laughs> it's I am Becca Brazil. Um, I do use TikTok, but not as much. It's Becca Brazil. And then I have YouTube and but just Google Becca Brazil. You'll find me. My PR company is only one media PR. The reason that I called it only one media PR is because I want everyone that works with me to feel like they're the only one. We definitely, when it comes to competition, like there is 
good things to look at when the other people in your industry, but there's nobody exactly like you. So when I'm working with someone, I want them to feel like they're the only one doing exactly what they can do, um, and not feel intimidated by other people in their industry. Um, so yeah, only one media PR, follow me, my website, only one media PR.com. And I would love to help people get seen, uh, yeah. different, uh, yeah. And different, um, online outlets or magazines and also on billboards through billboards Inc. So they could check out billboards Inc too. Awesome. So fun question for you, completely off topic, but if you could have a superpower or a super talent that you don't already have, what would it be and why? Okay. This is a good one. And I think it would be to fly. Um, because I could just go wherever I need to be. Like if I need to be in LA right now, I could literally just fly there. Um, take my bags, like, zoom. um, or yeah, fly or like transport, whatever it's called. Um, just get to one place to another really fast. If I need to go to Brazil to check on our space, boom, I could be there. If I want to come visit you, like right now I could just like transport myself to Miami so that would definitely help me so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, awesome. Well, again, Becca, thank you so much for your time and for your energy today. I'm excited for your career and I am now a huge fan as well. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I really loved being on your show. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into Empower Her Money podcast. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, share this podcast, and leave a review wherever you are tuning in.